Hey guys, so for today's video I thought I might do a brief tutorial talking about how you can get RSS feeds from YouTube channels and YouTube playlists. Um, this isn't a particularly well documented topic which is what inspired me to make the video and in addition to everything that I'm going to talk about today there is going to be some stuff that you'll want to copy and paste so I've put all of that information in the accompanying uh, description down below. So without further ado let's uh, take a look at how we can gleam an RSS URL from a YouTube channel and then in the later part of this video I will also cover playlists. Now if you go to a YouTube channel like for example my channel here, a little bit of shameless, shameless self-promotion, you will see that the URL is you know, pretty standard here. Now uh, there is an important piece of information that you need to look at when looking at the YouTube URL in this capacity and that is this final section here. This is what's known as the channel ID and this will be an important piece of information when it comes to uh, getting the RSS URL and the RSS feed from whatever channel it is. You don't need to be signed in, it doesn't need to be your channel, this works across all YouTube channels or at least it does as of the recording date of this video. So this is what an RSS feed looks like in uh, the Firefox browser. It also works if you do the same kind of uh, procedure in Chrome or Brave or any other browser, uh, but I quite like using Firefox because it has built-in support for live bookmarks which allows you to uh, see RSS feeds uh, through the bookmarking system. It's a handy little feature, one of the main reasons I use Firefox. Okay, so this is what the RSS feed looks like, and of course you can subscribe to it there through Firefox. This is what you're looking for. Now, this section of the RSS URL right across the top here is the same as your as, as the channel ID right here. This first half of the RSS URL is the same for every channel RSS feeds URL. So I will put the first half of this uh, RSS feeds URL in the description down below and you can copy and paste that. Then you just find any channel that you want the RSS feed of, take the channel ID and just apply it to the end of the RSS URL just like that and then you should end up with something similar to this. Now for older YouTube channels, so if I go to my channel again, but this is using a slightly different URL. This is using youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Chrisware Digital. Now this is only available on channels that were around when they were when YouTube was implementing this feature. It's no longer available. You can get customized URLs, but they're redirects. They're not true URLs, as you can see here. Doesn't matter how many subscribers you have, this is a system that is no longer being implemented, but there is still an RSS feed for it. So uh, older channels that do have the, the old username system also have a channel ID, as you can see here, but uh, there is also RSS provisions for both, and it works in very much the same way. This is the RSS page uh, for my channel, but instead of using the channel ID, it uses a slightly different prefix URL, which of course will be down in the description so you can copy and paste it. And then you just put the channel's um, username or you know URL after you know, this section here. And you just pop that onto the end of the RSS prefix URL there, put the two halves together, and you now have an RSS feed based on a channel's username rather than on its channel ID. Both work and both work as well as each other. It's just two ways of achieving the same thing. Uh, if you just wanted the most consistent way of doing it, you might as well just use the channel ID for both. But like I say, both work. Now, here is a slightly lesser known fact is that this system is also supported for playlists and it works in pretty much exactly the same way. This is a playlist for the various Linux distributions that I review. This is the playlist URL at the top here, and of course the most important part for today's video is going to be the channel ID, which is that suffix there. So what you do is you take the uh, playlist RSS URL prefix, which of course will be uh, down in the description for your copy and pasting pleasure, and then you just simply paste the playlist's ID as the second half of that, 
and you end up with an RSS feed of any YouTube playlist. Again, you don't need to be signed in. It doesn't need to be your playlist. It works for any URL, uh, any playlist on YouTube in the same way that uh, this works for any channel with the channel ID. And this works for uh, any channel with a username. Uh, there are obviously numerous reasons why you may wish to have an RSS feed of a YouTube channel. You may wish to view YouTube videos from an RSS application, uh, maybe Liferia or uh, you know, Feedly or something else. Um, you also may want to auto post videos from a playlist or from a channel across to its accompanying website using an auto posting service like If This Then That or you may want to use Firefox's live bookmarking feature rather than subscribe to a channel proper so that you just, you know, only have to um, glance over at, fire, at the Firefox bookmark uh, to see if there is a new video um, uploaded to a channel or playlist. So it's quite an easy system, but as I said, it wasn't particularly well documented. So I wanted to do a quick video just to let everyone know that YouTube does support RSS feeds as of making this video. They have changed the system in the past, so it's not impossible that they won't change it again. But nevertheless, I hope this video has been helpful. Feel free to ask any questions down in the comments section below. And uh, thank you very much for uh, watching. Until next time, I've been Chris Ware, and you've been awesome. Take care now.